Hey everybody, I just wanted to review quickly a couple things, make sure that they're clear, hopefully they are. Um, this is the one credit CTSO class, and really what your the goal of this class is to um, participate in an event, CTSO regional event and state event. So you can read through all this stuff, a lot of it you've seen before, course description's helpful, no prereqs. Um, let me know, I think most of you I know already. Just, I have one new student in here, and the class is really small. I think there's five or six of us, so it's, it's awesome, actually. Okay, this is the part I want to make sure is clear. Requirement one and requirement two. So requirement one is to go work at a secondary regional leadership conference. And so far, I know of these two. One is at LCSC, and the other one is at NAMPA. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there are more, and I can find more. Um, James Stoner, which is not the worst high school name ever, <laughs> Mr. Stoner. Oh my gosh, I just died when I saw that. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's almost worth changing your name. Okay, back on track. If you want to do the LCSC, which I'm thinking Whitney is in this class, if I remember correctly, and you're up in that area, so you might want to do that one. Let me know so I can tell him, because I need to tell him early next week um, who we have who might be able to work at that. And I think I'm going to come up and work at that as well. And then the DECA one is down here, and I think the rest of you are local here, so that might be the one you want to do. I'm sure there's a BPA regional one um, in the Boise area, I, I would think, but I don't know. I haven't found it yet. So anyway, I just want to get this stuff out to you so we can start figuring out dates for these things. Again, the six people in the class is going to be really nice because we can um, have a lot of individual attention and make sure we get those scheduled. Okay, requirement two is to participate in the state level CTSO event. So the, there's two choices on that. So let me explain. The BPA post-secondary leadership conference or the high school conference, right? So you either go to the college one and you actually compete or you go to the high school one and you volunteer. And so first thing you're thinking, oh, I don't want to compete. Well, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't back off on that because I really feel like if you're gonna coach you should at least compete one time and I, my dog is growling about something I don't know no no down there's probably someone outside anyway um so before you go I don't want to compete the costs are I think pretty close to being the same you still have to um, join BPA and stuff I would really recommend doing the competition um, number one, it's only one day, so you're going to go, compete, boom, done, nice, but I really think it's important for you to compete to understand what the kids go through, so, so consider that. Read through all these things. The date is here. It's March 3rd, and that's in Boise, and I think Whitney's the only one that needs to come down. Um, I'm not sure. I think I have one other student. I don't know where you are. And then, um, okay, if, if the third absolutely doesn't work or whatever, you can work at the state high school BPA conference, which is also in Boise. It's, uh, I've seen two different dates. I've seen, um, hold on a minute. Let me deal with the dog. Okay. Um, where was I? Okay. We talked about the first requirement. Second requirement. Okay. We talked about that post secondary. You compete. I think that's important. If the third doesn't work for you, or you're just really adamant about not competing, you can work at the high school BPA conference, or if you're teaching and you're already going to be coaching at this conference, that would make sense as well. Um, dates. Wednesday through Saturday, that's what I book on my calendar, but that doesn't mean you have to do them all. We'll talk more about that, and we'll see kind of where Jesse's needs are in, in producing that event. Um... I think that's it. I just want to go through those two things with you because those are kind of critical and they're date sensitive. So check your calendars and then I'll confirm with each one of you. Probably in our first meeting, we I believe we meet on Thursday next week in the evening, 7 o'clock. And I think the time was like 7 to 9.50 or something. We're not going to meet that long. This is a one credit class. That time should have been just 50 minutes. Um, so anyway, we'll touch base then. Or if you want to email me and tell me, what you're going to do. I'm going to go to LCSC and then I'm going to do post-secondary. That would be great so I can start organizing and figuring out um, 
who's going to be where because I need to track that and make sure that's that all happens. That's the majority of the class. That's the 200 points of the 400 points in the course. So let's go down here and I'll show you that. I know I'm at five minutes, so this is the last little bit. Um, this is the same book from 430. So if you bought it then, you don't need to buy it now. If you buy it now and take 430, you're already a set for that class, which is kind of nice. Here we are, three meetings and um, 60 points total. Summary assignment, um, I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. I've seen the past one, and to be honest, I didn't think it was something that would be helpful for the future. And I want you to create something that helps you advise CTSOs in the future based on your experience of going to these two events. Um, and I haven't got my mind wrapped around what that needs to be. So um, A, I'm open for suggestions, and B, I'll be working on that. Anyway, 100 points for the regional, 100 points for the um, state. I should write the word state in here. Um, and that's that's the whole class, one credit. Gotta love it. So you're done, like March 4th. You can turn in your summary assignment if you do the, uh, the first state conference. So that's kind of nice. Okay, that's all I have for now. Uh, take a look and then talk to me on email or uh, Voxer. I'm also in Voxer. Thanks.